Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies. My mouth still hurts. I don't know if you can hear it. If you can, please sympathize and forgive me for my slurring of my words. If you can't, eh, just pretend that I'm fine. Today we're taking on Stoke City. I don't want to overemphasize this, but this is a game that we must win. And if we don't win, it will have catastrophic consequences. Um, we've got to finish in the top four, or we really want to, because then we could go to the Champions League next year, play the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid, Fenerbahce, Juve. I don't know. We're going to play Bayern Munich. It would be amazing. Amazing. Um, uh, coming all the way from the ninth tier of English football to the Champions League. But we've got a long, hard slog ahead of us, as you're about to see, because currently... We are in sixth on 53 points, uh, five points out of fourth. Um, I think we still have a game in hand, but I don't know, guys. It's going to be hard. We just need to win our games. That's all we can do. That's what I said. Meredith, their goalkeeper is called Buttland. It's disturbing. It's going to be very difficult to beat Buttland. Um, we got Seb Brown in goal, though, so it's, you know, come see, come saw. Boy, if Seb ever retires, I am going after Buttland. I know that I'm supposed to recruit only based on quality, but Buttland? All right, we're going to win this game. And I'm going to talk about uh, crazy exes. Someone suggested a nice, um, a nice topic uh, in the comments a couple days ago. They said, uh, I feel like I might be the crazy ex. Is that, is that what it was, Meredith? And, and what should I do? Now, this is, a, this is actually an area of expertise. Expertise? I'm sorry. I'm really, it's really hard for me to say my S's. Expertise. I want to say expertise. Let me tell you about when, uh, you know, I have a little bit of a wisp, Meredith. And, uh, and when Sarah and I started dating, it was back in the early days of, like, phone recognition. You had to flip phone, and then you would, but you could still do some voice commands. And so I would always, I used that. I'd be like, call my friend Shannon, please. And then it would call Shannon. I thought it was so cool. But to get her to call Sarah, I would have to say, call Thera on Thel. So that was the only way they recognized my voice because my, 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 my lisp is so bad. Anyway. Anyway. Um, ball, John Green! Ah, oh, it was beautiful. He found a tiny bit of space, and he balled John Greened it right over the net. Um, so, uh, ma anyway, Meredith and I have experience in this because we, 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 uh, we've both been the crazy ex. Is that fair to say, Meredith? You know, I've definitely been the crazy ex where I just couldn't let something go and I was very resentful and I needed... M that was not a foul! I hugged him from the side! Let's watch a replay. I love you, I care about you, and then, oh my god, he fell over. I was just trying to express affection. There's no, no room in this game for real love. Um... So, I, I mean, I guess, like, two major breakups that I had that I really didn't handle well. Um, uh, one in college and one after. Uh, the one in college, my first reaction, it was a long-distance relationship, and my first reaction was to drive to Baltimore, um, where she lived, to, like, win her back. Big mistake. Um, big mistake on a bunch of levels. Ball John Green's there at the back corner. Do you see him? Do you feel him? Oh, ball, John Green, you've got to get that on target. Free header for the love of God. We have to win this game. Oh, ball, John Green, that's disappointing. Um, it ended up being a great trip because I got to spend a lot of time in the Baltimore Museum of Art, which has an incredible collection of Cezanne paintings, but um, not before I spent an evening... Uh, weeping into her bed while she very politely and generously and kindly was like, you have, have to go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and, then, and then after college, I was totally, I, I mean, I, I don't think that I was abusive or anything, but I was way, way too, oh! Oh! Correa, Correa! I don't really have a song for him yet. What's that song? What am I trying to base that on? It's like a... Christina Aguilera song or something, or um, uh, maybe Shakira, 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 yeah, yeah, hips don't lie, is that what it is, huh, his goals don't lie, right, okay, hold on, we're getting there, Mer Meredith, together, ready, Correa, Correa, his goals don't lie, was that good, or was that not in the melody, I haven't heard that song since, in, in, in a solid 10 years, so that's my only concern, um, 
Uh, hey, baby, when you talk like this, you make a woman go wild. Where's the hips don't lie part? You don't know? Is that even in the song, or is that more of just a conclusion that we made from watching Shakira's hips? Is that a lyric in the song or not, Meredith? It is a lyric in the song. Well, that's encouraging, at least. That was almost the goal of the season. Um, oh, Buttland, he's suffering because Correa scored on him. Correa, Correa, his hips don't lie. Something like that? No? Meredith's laughing like it's not good. Um, so let's, uh, let's talk more about being the crazy ex because, we've, I mean, here's the thing. You need to, it, it's really, really hard in, 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 to, like, there's a, a weird mix of things, right? Because, like, at least for me, like, I always felt very pathetic. Um, I felt like there was something wrong with me, like it was a weakness, like I was, uh, and, and, like, this person's, what I saw as rejection of me instead of what it really was, which was a rejection of uh, the romantic relationship, I always saw that as, like, further proof that I was who I always feared that I was, which was this, like, useless, unlovable, disgusting loser. And um, that, of course, is not the way to approach it. It's very hard not to, though, because it is a rejection and it is a loss and it feels, uh, it, it, you know, it inevitably feels personal because, um, I, you know, you let this person into your life in, in a way that you haven't let other people into your life. And um, mm, that could have been great. And uh, I'm also frustrated other John Green. Um, and there's an intimacy that is suddenly taken away from you um, and you feel like the person who knew you the best uh, has, has rejected you, which is a terrifying thought because it means that like deep down when you let people know who you really are, you might not be lovable. Oh my God. That was a beautiful goal from the Loch Ness Monster. No two ways about it. Chipped the keeper. Nothing Seb Brown can do. And here in the 42nd minute, it's tied 1-1. Oh, boy, we got to focus. we got to focus. This is a winnable game, and not only that, it's a game we have to win. Um, and I think, that, um, I think that's where a lot of it comes from. So my advice is if you're starting to feel like the, 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 the crazy ex, um, take time, give the person um, that you were in a relationship with uh, space, even if they say they don't want it. Um, just uh, because you need to give yourself space. You need to learn that the rejection was of the relationship, not of you. That the, um, you, need to, you need to basically, I guess, kind of stop making it about you. Because um, r romantic relationships are really complicated, and the reasons that they work and don't work are really complicated. And, um, and I, I don't think you do yourself any, any favors or, or your ex-partner any favors by... Um, uh, you know, coming to coming to them looking for uh, looking for validation. Um, you're going to find validation inside of yourself and from your other friends, and um, that's how that's how life is eventually going to go on. Not by, uh, yeah, not I, 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 yeah. That's how life is going to go on. Not by trying to uh, permanently reinstitute a romantic relationship that that didn't work. And um, also, if you if you really care about that person, I know this is very difficult, but you have to respect their, um, you have to respect their feelings and experiences. Um, and I mean that, you know, that, that for me was a, was a process of years. And I have to say on some level, it's, I, I mean, this all happened, what, you know, 15 years ago or something. And, and, and on some level, like I only started really having, you know, genuinely kind feelings toward those young women that weren't tainted by my own desire to have them like me um, in the last few years um, because you know we grew up we had kids like uh, I, I, I was happy they're happy like you know it, it, it takes I, I would say that at least in my experience it takes a long long time to get to that point and that's okay like I don't know that that's all right there's you, the great thing about life is that you you get to have many different kinds of relationships with many different kinds of people and putting too much emphasis on the, r the romantic relationships, especially the romantic relationships that you don't have anymore, I think is pretty, uh, it's pretty problematic for you and for, um, uh, for the person that you used to be in a relationship with. So I guess that, that, that's my advice. Meredith, what do you think? Is that reasonable advice? Meredith thinks it's reasonable. Um, but you know, she's still, uh, 
she still looks at the Facebook page of her ex-boyfriend every day. Uh, she does not. She does not. She's so happy with her current boyfriend, um, who's a nice, such a great guy. Not a Wimbly Wombly fan. Does he watch these, Meredith? Sometimes. I like him so much. He's, he's my favorite of the, uh, of the office boyfriends, I have to say. Um, he's also the only of the office boyfriends, but still. Still, he's, a, he's my favorite, isn't he? Is there another office boyfriend? Well, not that we know of. Some people, some <laughs> for, for reasons I don't understand, Meredith, some people around here like to keep their private life private, almost like I'm going to talk about them in Wimbly Wombly videos. It's so weird. Am I even supposed to say that you have a boyfriend? I'm not. I'm not. Um, that was off him, Nana. No! All right, Meredith, we've got to stop focusing on other people's romantic relationships and start focusing on Stoke City. Hold on, let me see what let me see what the substitution situation is. Now, Meredith, as my assistant coach and substitution specialist, um, who is should I take out John Green and John Green, or should I take out other people? I should take out the Greens. All right, I'm taking them out. Deanie and Dicko coming on. I see your point, though. Can I bring on the Golden Child for uh, Very Tired Less More? Yeah. I also... The Golden Child's performances lately have been so disappointing, but you never know when he's going to have a great moment. I mean, part of the problem of being 14 years old and a professional soccer player is that you let other stuff going on in your life affect you. Less More, you had a great game. All right? You're a nice-looking man. A lot of facial symmetry. You got weird ears. But other than that, you're great. It's just that it's time for you to take a rest. John Green and John Green coming off. 24 minutes to find a winner here. Um, yeah, and the other thing I would say is that if you find yourself in a situation where you um, feel like you might be, be really um, abusive towards someone, where you might be um, stalking them or uh, acting in a way that makes them uncomfortable, uh, you know, get help. Um, get, sorry, my phone is ringing. But yeah, get, get, uh, get help. Go to your college counselor. Um, go to a counselor. Talk to someone that you trust and say, like, this is a problem because, um, you know, you need to, that needs to be dealt with because you don't want to be, you don't want to be in a situation where you're hurting, where you're hurting people, where you're scaring people. Um, that's very, uh, that's very dangerous. Um, and, uh, you know, so I would, I would say, please, please, in that situation, get help. And also, if you feel like you're getting, getting stalked, I mean, I know it's incredibly hard and complicated, and, and, uh, I, I, but, but, yeah, you, you do, do, do seek help because um, the resources that are available to you are not as good as they should be, certainly, but, but they're, 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 they are there. Um, yeah, so it's our ball. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think that I ever, I mean, I don't think that any of my ex-girlfriends would say that I ever, uh, st you know, stalked them or, but, but I definitely, I was overbearing, you know, like I was, I was needier in the, in the, in the end of the relationship process than I should have been. And it's something that I, you know, yeah, that I, that I, I just didn't have a great understanding of, um, I don't know. I wasn't, I was thinking too much about myself and not about, not enough about other people, which, you know is kind of an ongoing problem in my life and from what I can gather, a lot of people's lives. All right, we're going to move to attacking and we have now just five minutes. This is, this is pretty scary, Meredith, because a 1-1 draw, I don't want to say that it's catastrophic, but it is a little, oh my God, don't dribble the ball out of bounds in times like these. Go, go, go up the wing. Go up the wing. He's so tired, Meredith. John McClain. Oh, he was in Die Hard. He's a big, tough man. He was in Die Hard. Get the ball in the box. No! Oh! oh, Meredith, you're a genius. Meredith, in the 90th minute, Meredith substitution. Dicko scores a Wimbly Wombly, scored a goal, and Dicko was his name. Oh, D-I-C-K-O, D-I-C-K-O. D-I-C-K-O, and Dicko was his name. Oh, great run from John McClain. Great cross into the box, and then Meredith's substitution. Dicko wins the game for the Wimbly Womblies in the last minute, and will we look back on that victory and say that was the key?
that was the key to us getting in the champ. No, 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 no goals, no goals. Oh, God, my whole life just flashed before my eyes. Will we look back on that goal and say that was the key to the Wembley Womblies making it to the Champions League? Wow. Wow. The intensity. We did it. The game is over. Our assistant coach, Meredith, makes another brilliant substitution. And we win the game 2-1 thanks to goals from Correa, Correa, and Dicko. Our opponents squat in shame. We celebrate. We've got a chance. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.